Hey, my name is Chris Susie, and we're at the Raptor Trust in Millington, New Jersey. We're a wildlife education center and environmental conservation place. We take care of birds. We love birds, especially raptors, hawks, owls, eagles, falcons. We have an on-site hospital. We try to nurse them back to health if they're injured, and we love talking to people about birds. This is a peregrine falcon. It's the fastest animal on the planet. It can dive at 250 miles per hour. That's faster than my car. This is a barn owl. Owls are amazing. They can turn their heads 270 degrees, almost all the way around. How do they do that? Oh, they have extra bones in their neck. Six extra vertebrae, more than we do. They also have amazing eyesight. Their eyes are so big in their heads that if this owl was six feet tall, its eyes would be the size of softballs. This is Velma. She is a barred owl. She is one of our education ambassadors here at the Raptor Trust. She's a barred owl um, because those feathers in the front breast, they have bars that go down. And one interesting fact about um, owls is they have some of the softest feathers uh, of any birds on the planet because they uh, need to be stealth and quiet to fly um, ne next to their prey in the evenings. Owls have some of the most amazing eyesight of any animals in the world, and partially that's because they have both of their eyes facing forward. Most birds, even other raptors, have their eyes kind of positioned to the side, and the littler birds, which are more often a prey species than a predator, have their eyes even further onto the side to help see behind them. The owls, because they need to see at night, they're nocturnal. You need to really be able to, to focus and have very good depth perception. If they have both of their eyes in front of their heads, kind of like humans do, it gives them binocular vision. And they can see the same image with both eyes instead of birds that have their eyes on the sides can see stuff over on the right side with their right eye, stuff over on the left side with their left eye. But the vision doesn't overlap. Owls have that overlapping binocular vision. It really helps them see at night. So Vilma um, was hit by a car when she was just a real young owl, probably the very first spring and summer that she was she was around. Her left wing over here is kind of injured, and a little bit of had a little bit of the wing had to be amputated. So she can't fly very well. She gets around in her cage okay, but she would never be able to fly in the wild well enough to hunt or survive. And like most of the birds that are here on display at the Raptor Trust, birds that people like you guys can come and see. The, um, the permanent birds here are all injured in some way and they can't be released back into the wild. All of the birds that can be released back into the wild are. And sometimes those that can't be released, they stay around like Vilma. And she's a really good ambassador and, uh, and a very, very calm and, uh, and docile bird. So she's a really good, good candidate for, for programs like this where people can meet her and she can go to schools and people can get an opportunity to see an owl up close because, ma'am, they're really cool. Another cool thing about owls, especially about their eyes, is that they look round, but they go way, way back into their skulls. They're sort of shaped like canisters. And because of that, they can't really turn them in the sockets. You and I can turn our eyes to the left and to the right. If we want to look behind us, we do a little bit of it with our neck, but a little bit of with our eyes. Owls can't really turn their eyes in the sockets. That's one of the reasons they have those extra vertebrae in their neck. If they want to look behind them, they can't turn their eyes. They have to just turn their necks. So they've got more bones in their necks than we do. You're so cool. Who loves the Raptor Trust? The Brady Bots do!